It was getting late. The streets were quiet. I'd been waiting for this moment. Cold air, clear skies, and the promise of a foxy lady at every corner. Now, seriously, though, it's the end of January, and it's now that foxes are courting. So why come to an urban area? Well, cities like Bristol, where I am now, London, Glasgow, many others besides in the UK, have really strong fox populations. And of course here, unlike their country cousins, the foxes are very used to people. So if you walk through the streets in the middle of the night or the early hours of the morning, you stand a very good chance of a brief encounter. But in the period between the end of December and very early February, Whilst the foxes are looking for a mate, you can chat one up, if you speak the language. Throughout their courtship, foxes can be very vocal. Lots of screaming, chattering, whickering. But uniquely at this time of year, dog foxes bark to proclaim their territory and to attract a vixen, a mate. It's unlike a dog bark. Uh, sometimes described as whoa, whoa, whoa. What does it sound like? It sounds like this. <coughs> and if you can mimic a dog fox, you may just excite the interest of either a male defending his territory or a female who likes the sound of your voice. You mimic the fox's bark using the falsetto range of your voice if you're a man, or just your normal voice if you're a woman. I create the warbling vibrato using the back of my throat. Dog foxes usually bark in bursts of three or four at a time, and then they leave long pauses, listening for a response. The vixens are pretty vocal too, kicking up a real din if they're being chased or courted by a male. These calls are the screams you may hear during the course of the night. And there's been many a false report to the police of a damsel in distress when people mistake fox screams for a human in trouble. If you hear a dog fox barking, Leave a good pause of 10 seconds or so, and then try answering. Don't overdo it. Just one call should bring the fox your way. If you see a fox heading in your direction, keep quiet. If you try barking in full view, it will blow your cover and it may send it running. Look at that, bold as brass, trying to identify the intruder in its territory. Oh, it spotted me. But this is the beauty of watching foxes in the city. If this fox was in the countryside, it would be off like a shot. Here, it's just inquisitive. Oh, there are two of them. Almost certainly a dog fox and his mate, the vixen. By March, she'll be giving birth to the cubs of the year. She'll have her family maybe under a garden shed in the ruins of an old building, or in a purpose-dug hole, or earth as they're known, at the bottom of a garden or in an allotment. If you're not sure whether you have foxes in your neighbourhood or not, you need only follow your nose. The scent of fox urine, which both the dog and the vixen use to mark their territory, is really distinctive. Personally, I like it. It smells of aniseed to me, perhaps wet hay.
This is just the first phase of the Fox's Year that you can watch and enjoy all over Britain and Europe, whether you're in the countryside or the city.